folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. So glad to see you. I'm fishing here with Dirk and he's already in the water, got a line in. And today, folks, it's actually it's opening bass. Uh, we're gonna be running the brand new Sting Eye Spinners. And uh, we're looking for small molt today. So it's opening bass, but by the time you see this uh, video, these will be out and ready. They're, uh, these are brand new and we're running some prototypes here today. And basically all we're gonna be doing, folks, we're fishing in 10 to 12 feet of water, so it's fairly shallow. And we're gonna just uh, cast these out and retrieve them back in slowly and look to see it get into some nice uh, small molt today. So stay tuned, folks. We're hoping to have a great day on the water. <laughs> we got our first hookup, folks. He hit it fairly close to the boat, too. It's not a huge one, but a nice one. Hey, I'm Dirk, we got it. We're on. I think I'm gonna... I'll just lift them in. Actually, that's not a bad start right there. That's a nice smallmouth. There's a good bass right there. Nice start to the day. Hey, beautiful. Opening bass, first bass of the year. Great start right there. Okay, and he just hit that. He hit it hard. Looks like I need the needle nose to get them out. Oh, right there. Thanks, Dirk. You knew I was on it, eh? Uh -huh. All right. Now, I am running the chartreuse spinner today. Um, reason for that, it's very bright out. So we'll get this guy. Oh, he's bleeding. He inhaled it a little bit too far, so you know what? We're gonna we're gonna keep that guy. If ever in doubt, if you want to release a fish and you're in doubt that he's not gonna release well, just keep him. So this one is bleeding. He just inhaled that spinner. Okay, we're gonna put him in the live well. We're gonna keep him. That's okay. No worse for wear. But uh, I am running the chartreuse today because it's very very sunny and bright. So it was either chartreuse or the silver. Otherwise, I would have went with the gold or the black if it was a darker day. But uh, let's get this guy in the live well and get back out there again another cast or two. Oh, oh, that, one, that one came barreling out twice. Oh, my. What a beautiful hit that was. Oh, yeah, it's a nice fish, too. What? That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Now, the thing with the Sting Eye, the predominant feature, of course, and you, as you know, folks, are always the first to hear about any new products that we have. The predominant feature is the eyeball, big eyeball, big attractor, and the fish just key in on that, and they just uh, they hit they hit the eyeball, and then of course the blade is actually a French blade, which gives off both flash and vibration. That's a nice bass, eh? So it's a great combination. Okay. Oh yeah. Come on, Mr. Smalley. Come on, get him in here. Oh, that's a, that's a nice fish. Oh yeah. Folks, we're getting into some real nice fish here. That's a nice smallie right there. Big, chunky fish. Just hooked in the side of the lip there. That'll make for a nice release. That's a beauty, eh? Dirk, what do you think? Gorgeous. <laughs> nice fish. Okay, let's get this guy right back in the water again. Beautiful, beautiful bass. And the way you work it, all we're doing with these now, the thing is, these sting eyes, they're also weighted. So, we can get some really good casting distance with them. And the water here is relatively clear, so it's nice to get that distance, get the, get the lure away from the boat. And basically, you can work spinners at any depth you want. So you just cast and then let them go down. They, they generally fall about a foot a second. And uh, again, depending on how deep you're fishing, you could let them go down, let them sink a bit deeper, let them stay a little longer. Or if you're fishing shallow, just cast and retrieve right away and uh, keep your bait fairly high. So right now, we're gonna keep working this bay and see if we can get into some more fish. Oh, that was, I saw, I saw that nice jump, Dirk. Okay. He hit it hard and he took out, oh, oh that acrobatic jump. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Oh, that's a nice bass. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. You want the net? Here, I'll, you want me to land them? Here, I'll land them, Dirk. That's a nice bass. There you go, Dirk. Ooh, beauty. Nice fish. Gave you a good solid hit too, eh? That's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what you call a nice opening day bass, Dirk, right there. And you just missed one moments ago too. Need a needle those? Right here, right here. There you go. He took it in deep, did he? No. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice shallow. Beautiful. There you go. Nice fish. Where's he going, Evil? Yeah, he's a good two and a half pounder, eh? <laughs> there was another, another good, another good hit there. Oh my. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, when you're running the spinners, they're just like running crankbaits. You're looking for those aggressive fish. And uh, today, in, in the early morning like this, and there's a little chop on the water, the fish are definitely going to be aggressive. So that's the time to run your aggressive baits, whether it's a spinner or a crankbait. And today, oh, we're doing exactly that. And then what I would do is, oh, there we go, Dirk. Oh, he saw the, did, you see, did you see him take off? He, he saw the boat. He saw the boat. He doesn't want to come in. He's still green. Oh, yeah. When the when the action slows down, there we go. He just came off too. How do you like that? There's a nice little bass right there. Beautiful, aren't they? Nice, nice color to them. Gorgeous fish. Yeah. If the uh, if the bite was tentative, then that's when you want to run with a uh, with a jig. Put on a jig and work a little more finesse, but. Uh, early morning or when you got some chop on the water and looking for those aggressive fish that's the time to run your spinners your spinner baits your crank baits more aggressive baits for those aggressive fish nice dirk really nice that's another nice jump bait yeah. it's hard to keep them down but that's the way to keep them down just keep your rod tip pointed down dirk and that'll help keep the fish down it won't guarantee he won't jump but it'll help anyway here i'll come and land them you got some size to them maybe we're gonna find out. Sting eye strikes. Oh again. yeah, <laughs> you gotta love that. Oh yeah, that's well, a good fish. Nice smally. Got that nice black tip tail to them. They're beautiful. Oh, we got not, some life in <laughs> He's not quite ready. Uh, oh, there's a nice boulder down there too. I wonder if that's where he came out from. That boulder. Okay, he's staying down. Okay. There he comes, here he comes. There you go, Dirk. Not huge, but what a strong oh. fighter, right? Eh? Oh, it just came off too. There's your catch and release. There you go, right off the hook. There you go. Nice little bass. Beautiful. There's another good hit. <laughs> and like I said, sometimes you can't control these bass. When they want to jump, they jump. And if they do, the key there is just keep your line tight. Don't let your line get loose or they'll, sh they'll shake the hook. And uh, if you don't want them to jump, you could try. You could try to keep the rod tip down. And uh, if you put your rod tip up, you're going to actually force that bass up. But if you put your rod tip down, you got a chance at least that he's not going to jump. Okay. Let's see if we can get this guy. He's still full of energy, but let's see if we can get him in the net. Oh, wow. There's <laughs> It's just so much fun. Okay, oh, no, hang on, Dirk. He's still, oh, wow. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice. Thanks, Dirk. Beautiful. There's another nice bass right there. And aren't they great fish? They're beautiful fish. Nice little hook set just in the side of the mouth as they attack the eye. Here we go. Boy, oh, boy. What a day we're having out here today, folks. The fish are on the bite, it's an aggressive day. We got a nice chop on the water and it's still early. So you know what that means, we're gonna be out here for a while. But I wanna thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And I hope wherever you are, you get a chance to do some bass fishing and have some fun like we're having today. Thanks for tuning in, until next time, good luck and good fishing.